first tell me about the church and polygamy. When it started, it allowed it? When our people came west, they permitted it on a restricted scale. You could have a certain amount of... The figures that I have are from two, between 2% 2 and 5% of our people were involved in it. It was a very limited practice, carefully safeguarded. In 1890, that practice was discontinued. The president of the church, the man who occupied the position, which I occupy today, went before the people, said he had was prayed about it, worked on it, uh, and had received the Lord a revelation that the time to stop was to, to discontinue it. Then, that's 118 years ago. It's behind us. But when the word is mentioned, when you hear the word, you think Mormon, right? I mean, you when do it, mistakenly. They have no connection with us, whatever. They're not you... belong, they don't belong to the church. There are actually no Mormon fundamentalists. <laughs> but President Hinckley, when the press pays attention to it, it does affect you, certainly, in a public relations sense. It does, because people mistakenly assume that this church has something to do with it. It has nothing whatever to do with it. It has had nothing to do with it for a very long time. It's outside the realm of our responsibility. These people are not members. Any man or woman who becomes involved in it is excommunicated from the church. It was a very limited practice, carefully safeguarded. In 1890, that practice was discontinued. The president of the church, the man who occupied the position which I occupy today, went before the people, said he had was prayed about it, worked on it, uh, and had received the Lord a revelation that the time to stop was just to discontinue it. Then, that's 118 years ago. It's behind us. Should the church be more forceful in speaking out? I mean, you're forceful here tonight, but maybe, maybe in saying that it's rather than just a state matter, encouraging the state to prosecute. I don't know. We'll consider it. <laughs> I'm giving you an idea. Yeah, would, would you yeah. look better if you were... I don't know that we would or not. I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I have nothing to do with it. Uh, it belongs to the civil officers of the state. You condemn it. I condemn it, yes, as a practice, because I think it is not doctrinal, it is not legal, and this church takes the position that we will abide by the law. We believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, magistrates, in honoring, obeying, and sustaining the law.